Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Prinsenthal. I'm a director of prostate imaging for RadNet uh, Inc. for Southern California. I'd like to talk a little bit today about the role of prostate MR for prostate cancer detection and some of the challenges with PSA screening and detection. Many men are aware that the PSA blood test has been widely available, but the U.S. government in 2012 concluded that the PSA blood test wasn't cost effective, that there were too many harms and not enough cancers found. And also, back then, men were concerned about the side effects of cancer detection. In other words, if they were told they had prostate cancer, their prostates were ripped out and many men suffered what we call I-squared, impotence and incontinence, things that men are reluctant to talk about but create a situation where they don't want to be tested for the disease. So that happened because the urologists, if the PSA blood test was elevated, they would do a strategy that we call now poke and hope. They would fire 12 needles into the gland and hope to find a cancer by chance. It was the only organ in the body that would have a biopsy without identifying an abnormality first. That created a whole bunch of problems and the government correctly concluded that this was not a very good way for identifying prostate cancer. So prostate and breast cancer are two sides of the same coin. Roughly the same number of men and women are diagnosed each year of their respective diseases, and roughly 30,000 men and women die each year of their diseases. So women fought aggressively for improved treatment for breast cancer with breast conservation, with radiation, and improved screening and awareness, and as a result, they're getting a lot of money spent for breast cancer research. Men, not so much. They're reluctant to go to the doctor. They don't want to have someone stick a finger where they don't want one. And the PSA blood test was pretty insensitive. So how can we learn and how can we improve? So prostate MR became a very useful tool for the detection of prostate cancer in 2009 and to this day.